everyone from Chelsea Fan TV, my name is Alex. We're standing outside Wembley Stadium after a 1-0 loss against um, Liverpool. Father, um, now we are going to go go to the game. We lost against Liverpool, we're obviously yeah. pissed off. Um, now, when I was interviewing Nina, before you spoke to her, you were talking about what Poch said after the match. We've been here long enough that we can actually see those quotes. Mm -hmm. I would like you to read some of them out. I haven't heard them, I heard one. Um, please, please let me know what he said. So... First of the quotes that he said, I don't know how you can describe this situation, but for sure, I feel proud. They made a big effort. We are a young team and nothing to compare to Liverpool. That's the first part of the, of the quote. Number two, he said that the team felt maybe penalties would be good for us. That's what he said. That's what he said. Okay. Well, I agree that penalties would have suited us, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure how he meant how he meant to say that, I'm not really sure. You have a I'm good not one. really sure either. I think the, it's, I think it's just the court himself is just making it worse week in, on, on a weekly basis now. And the fact that this is seven, by the way. You know why, why I say seven here? We lost seven times here since we we won against United. We lost seven consecutive finals in a row. If you <laughs> want to count Community Shield, by the way. But yeah, man, I, I don't know. I just don't know how I feel so far. I feel dejected from the beginning. I was pissed off right at the end. I had a rough time to calm down myself and let's have a dissect performance that we've done so far. And it was nervous from the beginning. You can tell from some of these players going to Wembley, a cup final like this, 90,000 people watching, 33k allocation on both sides. You can tell there was some nervous around for some of these players. And I feel like that nervous got onto them from the beginning, right? You don't, you don't think they grew into the game? I think they grew into the game once, once the 20 minutes come, once they kind of like yeah. settled down a bit. I but, agree with that. And also, I just think the maybe in the first half alone, I don't think we played that bad, but it's just giving too many easy fouls away, it's too many mistakes. Um, there was no attacking pattern whatsoever. Jackson was wasted. Um, there are lots of chances that we've, we could have got, but... Again, same old Chelsea, couldn't finish our brothel. And the problem that I've got so far from this game alone is just that I don't think the subs were made that was too bad by Poch, but I just think that we lack kind of um, clutch moments in this game alone. And that is why I feel like that's, that, that is the difference between us and Liverpool at the moment. Mm -hmm. look, at, look at Liverpool at the moment. We, yeah. They lost about nearly 50% of their starting 11 for injuries. No excuse. So where are you as a Chelsea fan? How 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 do you? Well, you you you're you're not justifying it from what you're telling me. Yeah. So where do we go from here? I just don't know where do we go honestly because this was our insurance to get that European football. Yeah. Now we lost one. We play 120 minutes now. I'm I'm kind of feel worried going to Wednesday. Let's say if we lose to Leeds, what what are we gonna do? at the season that's a problem that's a that's God a honest truth if we would have won this game I couldn't care less if we beat Leeds but now that we've lost this game you know your judgement's almost clouded because we put everything into the Carabao Cup final just for Conference League exactly that's where we are and also um, also one last thing as well apparently when when Poch receiving his medal he was ignoring ignoring Bowley Ooh. I'll show you the video by the way I do okay. have the VAR here guys Bear with me. Okay. I'll just Look at Bali. Oh shit. He did, yeah. He just shook a Bali's hand. Yeah. Ooh, what's the sign, Alex? You tell well, me. That doesn't look good, mate. That doesn't look good. Well, that looks like a manager who's going to get sacked. That's the thing, yeah. That's the manager who's going to get sacked. And the fact that he's going to... The thing is, he's going to wait till the end of the season. You know why? He's, he's coming for the peace. He's coming for the peace. That is where... This is the chemist, the, the connection between our club, the, from the top to bottom, to the managerial, to the players, are kind of a bit disjointed at the moment. We haven't got that harmony feeling at the club right now. Look what happened last week. The difference of the performance from Man City last week compared to this. What happened there? Completely different. De Sassi was... But the starting 11 was the same. The same. The same as starting 11 from last week. The same players, the same position. What happened there? 90% I would play on the players for not turning up. And these kind of clutch moments that we need this from these young players to, you know, 
develop themselves to, to be that clutch in that moment. I would blame Tempestine goes to Poch. I just think that when he took off Chilwell, in my opinion, I do feel some disagrees from some of the, the fans that the fact that I don't know if he, if he was tired at the end. I don't know if Poch kind of scared that Chilwell might get another injury. That is where the conundrum is, and that is where also Poch kind of he fucked himself in a bit at that moment. So no, when 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 he got to back three, you knew what's going to happen, didn't it? Well, I just didn't understand the the Chalaba sub. That was the one I, I really didn't get it. Um, you know, I I understand that we, we talk about him being tired, and you know, I I don't necessarily think Poch was thinking of it tactically. I don't yeah. think that if you're tactically looking at it, that's a smart decision. But he was looking at it from penalties and trying not to concede and have a little bit of energy for three minutes but again I agree with what other people have said yeah. you're a fucking professional football player earning millions of pounds can you not ride out three minutes you know I mean that, that that's a fair point that's a fair point as well and th these are the conversation that we're gonna have a lot before the Leeds game because some of our rivals now I'm I'm, I'm, I'm very disappointed as a Chelsea fan seeing our players getting cussed out week in, week out. Look what happened today. Enzo and Caicedo. They're going to be the one that's going to be um, cussed out because £220 million, pounds, that is where the rivals put the agenda. £1 billion, pa one billion squad, yeah. the whole team. Do you think they had a good game? From, from, the, start, from the start, yeah. I will, I'll be honest with you. From the start, they were nervous. I said they were nervous at the game, but they grew into the game a little bit. They're crunching in these kind of tackles in the, in the moments. But again, it's just that distribution to the forward line. It feels infuriated a lot. And I just think that if we had a clinical striker, let's say, for for example, like Oshiman type of player, boom, you, you're going to finish those chances. And that is where the, the game that, to summarise things today, is the games that costing us today it's just that lack of killer instinct wasted opportunities it's just same old same old and I, I just don't know what to expect from these because they're on the back of the victory against Leicester on Friday night they're going to be coming at Stamford Bridge thinking you know what guys why not make an upset against, against us yeah. because we just felt defeated yeah after we lose to arguably like actually this place is a curse for us seven, seven losses at Wembley Unacceptable for us. This used to be our training ground. We used to dominate. We used to dominate. We used to, you know, call ourselves the king of Wembley, the pride of London for a reason. Look where we are right now. Fans are going to cast us because we haven't got that pride of London anymore. And this is where I fear for some of these players that, let's say if we lose against Leeds United on Wednesday, boy, the, 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 the energy will be drastically dropped big time. And... and and the fact that I'm hearing some of the rumours that apparently Mudrik's going to be leaving on loan at the end of the season. You heard about that? Well, I've, I've heard rumours about it. I've heard rumours about, about um, apparently some of the players not happy with the direction of the club. That is where it's going. But yeah, man, I'm just at the moment, it's just like, I fear for this, some of these players for Wednesday. I fear some because they've already been dejected today. Then they're going to have to go back to the training session tomorrow and then prepare the game for Wednesday. Boy, I just hope they turn up because we just lost our insurance and you know what? We have to go over all over again to back to Wembley for the FA Cup now. So, yeah, at the end of the day, I wish we end up with box part just to kind of rub it off um, this um, defeat, you know. But, yeah, yeah let's well, that, see. That would have made a really difficult season worth following, you know, exactly. because you pick up silverware. Mm -hmm. And last season, I mean, there was no hope whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And they always say it's the hope that kills you. Mm -hmm. I feel dead. I feel dead as well, and I understand. You know what? I just want to see us some fight, you know, in these kind of moments, you know. And that is where I feel like the likes of Gusto, the likes of some of these players that is still young, they will learn a lot from this game. And you know what? Why don't we try to come out on Wednesday, be that angry mood after what happened today? Guys, let's go again on Wednesday. Let's go back to Wembley, where we belong, to play the FA Cup um, sixth round, and then we go through the semi finals round. Then back in the final, who knows that we might we we'll, we'll might be see a change, but at the moment it's just like yeah, dejected. It's a de de dejected feeling, you know. And I'm speechless, man. I mean, we're all in this together, my friend. Yeah. Anyway, we may disagree on certain yeah, things, we, and we, I know I know I disagree we, with we, it. We were here two years ago, by the way, with Tuchel and that. We were here over there, but in front of co-op talking about um, um, Tuchel when we lost here. 
11 10 on penalties but again it's just the same here different scenario though different my friend we are not the same Chelsea even yeah. even someone as positive myself I will say that we are just not the same we're not yeah uh, we are in a different era now and I just hope that we need some clarity in the, on the club as well we need some the clarity is we're not good enough to beat Liverpool's third team the clarity is where we are right now it's not good enough we've spent out one billion pounds we should be up in the top now so yeah, hopefully, hopefully Wednesday I, I want to see some response. I want to see some, you know, some minutes under the belt, and hopefully I don't I don't want to see players get injured. So yeah, fingers crossed on Wednesday. Hi guys, I hope you're doing very well. This video is sponsored by Match Bingo. Match Bingo is an easy way of having fun. Uh, when it comes to betting on the football. Now, think of bingo, but without numbers. So rather than having 10, 12, 5, you would have corners, yellow cards, and goals, for example. And that would be an example of a line. Now, you can win up to £175 each game with match bingo. There are some games you can win more. And spend is only capped at £2, all right? So if you're worried about not playing responsibly this is probably a good game for you i do just want to give these guys a, a little bit of appreciation as well because 35 percent of of the money they make actually goes to the stroke association which um is really really good to be fair um i don't know many companies that do that let me know what you guys think click the link in the description and uh make sure you're over 18 as well